Greetings, what's up and well met. Today I got a video showcasing one of my favorite modules for Foundry Virtual Tabletop version 10, and that would be Argon Combat HUD, made by Ripper93. I can't imagine playing without this mod, and I'm sure my players can't either, so let's get into it, shall we? Here we are on a map I've created using Dungeon Alchemist, my favorite map making software, and I will preface this by saying I have a ton of active mods running right now, so this is not stock foundry, but I will only be showcasing the Argon Combat HUD in this video. To open the HUD, you're going to click on a token, right click, there's a button on the top left, these cross swords here, you can open it that way, or you can go over here and toggle Combat HUD that way. Uh, you'll notice immediately it's broken down into simplistic categories, very visually appealing, and it's got easy access to anything you might need. Save skills tools if you need to make a quick intelligence check, something like that. There you go, boom. And that's just from this menu that's right above the character portrait you'll see here. Uh, you can easily roll initiative. You can open your character sheet with that button there. You can even minimize it. And uh, let's go ahead and roll initiative, actually. Start that up. Let's get a rogue in here as well. And begin combat. Okay. Now you'll notice that these will actually account for your movement. So 30 feet movement. He's going to move. It will take into account how far he's gone and act accordingly there. Uh, if you want to use an item, you have all of that easily accessible there. Cast a spell. Go ahead and throw down a lightning bolt here. Easily accessible. And that is my favorite part about this mod, is the ease that it brings to your game. For a veteran player or a new player to be able to jump in and just see everything that you have at your disposal on your turns is very helpful. Alright, let's go ahead and end Tron Davius's turn here. Give our rogue a chance to attack back. There's another feature here that allows you to switch weapon sets very easily. There's three different weapon sets available. You could just drag and drop straight from the character sheet to those, whatever weapon you'd like. So we'll go ahead and use a short bow. Zero out of one targets you'll see right next to my mouse. That's a feature of Argon that's very helpful. There's a lot of targeting conundrums that happen during games and it ends up saving you a lot of time. Hover over the target, press T, there we go. Shoot that. Let's go ahead and switch weapons. And move up to attack. You'll notice uh, his 40 feet base movement speed is accounted for here and it took that out accordingly. Go ahead and attack with the primary and we'll offhand bonus attack with the short sword of fire there. Perfect. Good attack Horus. One other thing I'd like to show off on this mod is the customizability. So if you go into the configure settings here, Argon Combat HUD, you can configure the whole theme. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from. Uh, you can also customize it yourself. I've made a custom one to match my UI and you can customize it uh, down to the text color, border color, background of each category. It's amazing. And in the settings, you can toggle on and off the target picker. You can choose the scale of it, the position of it. Uh, a lot of other customizability options here from uh, opening on the combat start, showing only prepared spells or all of them. There's a uh, hover, so if you hover over something, it'll bring up the stat sheet of it. Um, any of these features here, it will do that for you as well. So you can toggle that on and off. You can choose its fade out. It's a very, very handy mod and very customizable. It gives the players the ability to customize it themselves as well, so it can tailor to specific players and yeah I can't think of anything else I'd want to show off on this mod um, but I'd say it's a staple of my game and I don't think my players would enjoy it very much if I were to ever get rid of this mod or if I went to a new version that didn't have it they would have they would just tell me to go back until Argon's ready so thank you for watching this video this module again is made by Ripper93 very active on Discord. Uh, he's got his own Discord, so he, he makes a lot of modules. He'll answer any questions. Uh, very active in there and a very active community as well. So I'd like to say thank you to Ripper, and once again, thank you to all of you fine folk who tuned into this video. I hope this helps some of you find a, a good mod to put on your game. And if anybody would like to see any of the other mods that I have active or more of a deep dive into my Foundry game, just let me know in the comments below. Drop a like. Hit subscribe if you want to see more shit like this, and thank you. Stay frosty.